we've brought some images into Lightroom now. You can bring whatever images you want, even a folder that you've been working in for this course, for example, and have them all here. Uh, it doesn't take much more processing power if you have more images here. Now let's see what you can do in this library panel once you have some images. Um, so in the navigator here is where you have most options to do other kinds of imports. So first of all, in your catalog, you have all of the images that you've imported into Lightroom and you can see various views of them. So if you click all photographs, you'll see all of them here. Previous import were the last ones you brought in. All synced photos is if you have photos synced to the cloud, you will see them here. Uh, this happens automatically if you have, if you use Lightroom, the, the modern version of Lightroom, uh, and are logged in with both this and that one, and they'll show up. Whatever you open up in Lightroom Modern will also show up here. And then Quick Collection is some images that you have chosen to put in this Quick Collection. You can choose to have them here by just clicking on that little, you might not even notice it very well, that little circle in the upper right corner for each photo. And this is just a way of making a quick selection of your photos so you can work with just a few of them. And you can also remove them from a quick collection like that. Let's go back to the previous import. You can also add folders from your uh, system to keep watching. So I'm going to, I don't know, add this PNG folder. Let's see. And it's going to take you to import. So this is another way to import. I'm just going to import all of these. And it's going to show up in the list of folders that I have here. You see, I have several folders imported. And I can just move from one to another to another by clicking on them. And when I drop new files in this folder, they will show up automatically here. Um, and yeah, I, I got the smart preview built and Lightroom lets me know that I don't really want to see that every time. So this is the catalog, the folders, and you can, if you press the minus uh, button here, you can delete the folder that's selected. Uh, okay. And you can create selections now. Uh, collect, uh, sorry, collections. So by default, you have a few collections created automatically depending on how you sort your images. We'll get back to these. Or you can just select several images and uh, add them to a collection. You can add them to a quick to the quick collection all at the same time by uh, by just right clicking and choosing add to quick collection here or you can make a new connect collection by clicking the plus button here next to the collection title the collection sections title and say something like portrait so group your images however you want um, right now there are no photos here, but I can uh, drag and drop them, for example. Drag this is a portrait, then let's go to my other folder here and drag it. So it doesn't matter where they are in your system, you group them together by whatever category you want. These are the ones I want to keep, these are the ones I want to throw away, these are landscapes, these are portraits. Uh, these are artsy, these are newsy, these are... So whatever uh, criterion you want, you can create collections this way and find them grouped together whenever you need this. Um, we'll get back to the smart collections in a bit. 
and then you have the publishing services here this is for export we will talk about that this a bit more a bit later now in this main view you have all your images and I'm just gonna open up the all photographs view here so I have more of them and you see there's a few uh, and you can sort them group them uh, rate them and do all kinds of things to the images in this view so first of all you can f add filters from here this little bar at the top uh, you can search for text any kind of text so uh, all the information that's contained about the photos in the files and what you add as keywords and stuff like that is searchable so what camera it was taken with what lens uh, when it was taken um, the location if you have that with your photos all of that is searchable you see captions keywords titles a lot of things and you just input something here and let's see these are photos taken with an icon camera just these two um, these are Olympus so that's just one example of what you can search for you can search for attributes so images that have certain ratings uh, that are chosen selected in various ways again we'll get back to this when we look at smart collections in a bit you can look just for the metadata uh, in this kind of view so when it was taken with what camera what lens and what label it has and just click here i, I want to see all the images from 2006 and shot with the Fujifilm fine uh, fine pics and the lens is not known for this particular image or let me go to something like this and here I get again I have the Olympus camera and I have two lenses for that so the wide lens and the longer lens I have uh, smartphone and I have images downloaded for the internet from the internet where uh, Lightroom doesn't know what camera has been used this is metadata or you can just choose none and you'll see all your images again um, and you can under filters off here just choose to see only these images and lock this so uh, when you search through using these other filters you only search through what you have selected here but I will um, turn filters off okay 